Okay, so in the previous video, I talked about a simple linear regression model where two variables were related to each other and we wanted to explore the relationship between uh, those two variables. I talked about the beta 0 and beta 1 parameter where beta 0 represents the intercept and beta 1 represents uh, the slow parameter of uh, that relationship. We may be more interested in this beta 1 parameter because uh, it is showing us if x changes by one unit, the y will change by beta 1. We wanted to explore uh, this beta 1 parameter. And to explore this relationship, we draw this line. Now the question is how to draw this line? You may have different data points, like they may be scattered like this. So you can essentially draw different lines in between these uh, data points. So this could be your first line. You can draw another line here and another line here and you can draw multiple lines here. Now the question is what is the best line? One thing to note here is your beta parameter that is your slow parameter it varies from line to line. So this line will give you a different slope parameter and this line will give you a different slope parameter as compared with uh, this line. This is much steeper so this will be giving you a different beta parameters. Our question is how to draw the best line. Again, we're we going to look at uh, uh, the previous graph here that we draw and uh, see here when we, we were predicting the value of y1, we under predicted the value. The actual value was much larger than our predicted value. So essentially what we want to do is we want to predict a value as close to the actual value as possible. So that is our goal. In other words, we want to minimize this error, error 1 for the first observation, error 2 for the second observation. Okay, so we are going to minimize all these errors, error 1, error 2, error 3, and up to n errors. And n is, n is the number of observations that we have in our data. We're going to minimize u1. That's the first error. The difference between our predicted value and the actual value. Plus, we are going to minimize error 2. That is the difference between uh, our predicted second value and the actual value. Plus, third error up to n errors that we'll have of n observations in our data set. Okay, but the problem is sometimes we'll be over predicting, so we'll have uh, a negative uh, error, and sometimes we'll be under predicting, so we'll have a positive uh, error. To account for this, what we can do is, is we can take the square of uh, these numbers to make them positive all the time. And we can write it down as uh, the summation of ui squared where i is from 1 to n. So we want to minimize these errors, the distance between uh, these data points. Let me show you in an example. So let's assume we have just two points, point 1 here and point 1 somewhere here. And uh, we want to draw a line. We draw this line and see here our error 1 is this much and error 2 is this much. So the question is, can we do a little better? Probably we can. So we can draw another line like this. And as you can see, this green line is a little bit better because the distance between the predicted value and the actual value is much closer as compared with this red line. And this is exactly what we are trying to do using these uh, ui squares. We are trying to minimize the distance between our predicted value and the actual value. So this brings us to the principles of ordinary least squares. And what principles of least square does is it minimizes the sum of squares of uh, those residuals that I explained you earlier from 1 to n and uh, it fits this line. Okay, so this was the method of uh, ordinary least squares or OLS. In the next video, we are going to explore how to apply this uh, ordinary least squares principle or OLS to 
estimate these beta parameters, beta 0 and beta 1. I'm going to show you some examples in R and we are going to get the output using the OLS estimator and we'll probably spend most of our time interpreting the result that we will get using that R output. But essentially R will be using uh, this principle to estimate these beta parameters. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.